okay don't think i liked the hair clips as much hi guys welcome back to my channel um I like the hair flip my name is katia aka katarina the youtuber i'm here today i was filming a video that was going to be transformed like baddie dare i say transformation from like the holiday mess so many cookies and so much pie and so much pajamas and pandemic all over again you know what i mean i don't know if i'm finishing that video i i don't even know what's happening anymore quite frankly why also my nose is <laughs> itchy okay light opinion i felt a way enough about it to like comment on somebody's video which i don't ever do by the time i read through enough comments i'm just like wow people are interesting and then i that's where i leave it but um i don't know let's be different like maybe i feel the need to make a whole video about it myself as you can tell by the title i'm moving to la actually i'm not moving to la well i grew up in southern california sources say everyone is now moving to new york city and the whole fashion of moving to la has kind of fizzled out and my opinion is important because no i'm just kidding i do think it's really interesting i think one of my biggest pet peeves is really i feel like i'm just joking around and i'm not really like i don't really have an opinion but i do like i promise i do i feel like the biggest thing for me how do places where real people live become like trends if you want to <laughs> if you want to hear about things that are a little more um, maybe intellectual and less uh, emotional or opinionated about such a topic, then I will link below where it kind of touches a little bit more on that, sort of. Those things are definitely extremely important. important. Gentrification, housing availability, the way that culture is affected, etc. And the way that, you know, other stuff that there's other stuff okay just believe me and trust me the thing that i think grinds my gears about it is mostly just the fact that why is it why is it that every single youtuber as far as i can tell it just seems so weird to me that like los angeles is a state like apparently los angeles is its own state los angeles is the only place in california that one can be it's so strange to me and i sort of kind of get it like if you move to a new place like i lived in texas um houston for like four months you know texas first of all is like what the biggest state maybe in the country it's huge the other cities are pretty far from each other as far as like the main cities like austin to dallas to houston i think dallas is like four hours hours away from Houston and so like I get when you move someplace it's not like you want to be in every city that that state has to offer and I completely get that at the same time like it's so strange to me because California is full of popular places though too do you get what I mean like it'd be so odd to talk about Texas like Houston was the only place in Texas or like Dallas was the only place in Texas like that would be so strange to for everyone to move to Dallas and then when it didn't work out for them there they had to leave like nobody nobody could try out houston austin there are other places that don't close, but like the other places in a place like do you get what i'm saying like it's so strange to me how everybody moves to los angeles and not one person thinks even like san diego is a well-known place in california how do none of these youtubers go maybe i could not like it in la but move to san diego like los angeles is not a reflection on the entirety of the state of california if living in la proper isn't suitable to you why is it that you can't literally live in long beach in whittier honestly it takes an hour to get from la to la you know what i mean like for, to get from one place in la to another place in la could easily take you 45 minutes to get from orange county to los angeles can also take you about an hour and 20 minutes so it's kind of like might as well just travel i don't get it my necklace 
kind of constantly gets tangled around my other necklace. This is really important as well um, that you guys know this. And I just don't know how this happens because all I do... You ever used to like tangle up your necklace for fun so that you could like untangle it just for the joy of it? Like kind of like how you used to put like glue on your hands just so you can like peel it off. It's not that you were a messy gluer. You just like to peel the glue off just because it was nice. It was a nice occasion. A follow-up grind my gears um, around this is I'm not gonna like diss New York because New York is definitely a spot. It's a vibe. I just feel like the part of New York that I personally think is the most vibe. Of course, you know, Manhattan is quite gorgeous and lovely and I don't even have to like speak on that I don't feel like because like we all know. As far as being like a resident of New York, like you're not gonna be there for the Statue of Liberty every day. After you see all the sights, now you're a resident and like you actually need a reason to stay. To me, the parts of New York that are cool are like the hood, the Bronx, <laughs> um, some of Harlem. A lot of Harlem is gentrified though too. So like it's not gonna be like Harlem from 20 years ago. I don't even know what Harlem from 20 years ago was like, but I know a lot of adults who know what Harlem from 20 years ago is like. I'm totally stereotyping and making all kinds of assumptions. But generally speaking, like how many of these YouTubers do you think are gonna go live? on the Grand Concourse, you know what I'm saying? My point that I'm trying to get across is that I have stayed in New York a few different places and a lot of New York is kind of gentrified and a lot of it is still being gentrified. The overall point too that I wanna make is like, it's not to like diss any of these places, but what the girl in the video was saying was, when can we see what it looks like to live in Kentucky or like Chicago, people were saying, or like, I know states like Wisconsin. I used to really wanna go to um, Wisconsin Madison University. Like, even Stanford, like can they even show us NorCal? There's, I feel like there's not enough NorCal vloggers. Or influencers even who started in NorCal have moved to LA. I just think it would be so much more interesting. This is a whole side note, but this is like a good conclusion for uh, me video because I just remember my favorite part of watching vlogs and YouTube was when I would find these like random, like the randomest vlogs of like, like real kids with real testimonies. Um, no, but like of like real, like everyday, not that YouTubers aren't real everyday kids, but everyday kids who would just be like vlogging themselves going to school and it would just be such like raw footage in the wild that I it would just make me feel so good and like warm and cozy inside and it was so pure. When can we get back to our roots? Like as YouTubers. You know what I mean? I can't even miss oh dare i say some of the lifestyle e like early lifestyle youtube stuff or you know it wasn't so commercialized remember to comment like and subscribe happy 2022 yeah turn on the post notifications and definitely comment down below like do you like these kinds of videos for me like where i'm just sitting and talking in this whole vibe or would you prefer like vlogs like i have i think at least a couple of vlogs on my channel at this point i like vlogging that's something that i've always liked since like middle school so i do kind of want to vlog like whether or not you like it like i still like your opinion of obviously like which content you feel like works better for you if you have any video suggestions or you're just feeling commenty like you have a comment a positive respectful recognizing that everyone is a human being including myself level comments those are the only comments that we're accepting here on earth okay so anyway um <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching remember to comment like and subscribe and happy new year's